Please don't hate us. Oh, oh, Sophie. Oh, she thinks that we're pretentious. And she wouldn't be wrong. She's spitting straight facts. It's been a while since I have downloaded any new mods into my game, so I thought I would make a video trying out a few that I've been keeping an eye on and seeing how well they integrate with everyday gameplay. This video is not a review and it is not a mod showcase because honestly I've never tried any of these mods before, this will be my first time trying them out, and I just wanted to see how well they work with my kind of gameplay. I have made a mod video before, it was quite a while ago, but every single mod in that that video I still have in my game to this day except from slice of life I took that out a while ago because it was making my game quite buggy but everything else in that video I still have in my game link to it will be in the description below but anyway today's video is not about that we are going to be focusing on five mods or is it six six mods and see how well they integrate with gameplay the first mod I installed was the mood pack mod which I actually needed for some other mods to work it's a very crucial mod. It says here that it is intended to go with other mods as a storytelling tool so I'm guessing it's just gonna add on to all the other mods. For example the first impressions mod which gives your sims first impressions when they meet someone new which I think is really cool. It's like placed as a sentiment. So yeah for this mod to work you need the mood pack. I also installed the road to romance mod which you also need the mood pack for it to work. This gives you like the romantic skill and just gives you a bunch of new romantic interactions. Adds a bit of spice to the romance in the game which I'm excited to try out and also the pre-teen mod which it gives you a whole life stage that's massive also need the mood pack for it to work so we're gonna be trying this out I have a preteen in the house I'm so ready to see how much this mod can add to the game I've also got this mod called the variable default relationships mod which basically at the beginning of a new game it randomly gives your sims different relationships so instead of it being like default your sims in your house might end up disliking someone and it just adds some game gameplay and story to your characters. And lastly, we're going to be checking out the more traits mod, which I think will give each individual sim some more depth in terms of their personality. And yeah, I'm really excited to try these mods out. And basically today, I'm just going to play the game as normal and see what the mods do, how much the mods add to the gameplay. If you guys want more types of videos like this, and you want me to try out a specific mod that you suggest, let me know in the comments below. Low. and without further ado let's just begin okay so we're gonna quickly start off in Cass um this is the family that I got from the hashtag die sims they were made by Pedro LH7 and the description says abandoned by her husband Sophie has to take care of her three children and the family dog Bella so I downloaded this family and I changed one of the children from a child to a preteen this is her and as you can see like we've got the additional traits and I think I think the way that I would play it is I would have three positive traits and then two Hi. more difficult ones. So I gave her family oriented, perfectionist, foodie, and then those are her like original traits. And then I gave her self absorbed and a snob just to add a bit more like spice to her, you know? Even the toddler has an extra trait, which is so cool. So yeah, you see, like this is her teen daughter. She's a music lover, she's cheerful, she's romantic, but she's also jealous. So she's got one kind of not negative trait, just more 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 difficult trait to handle so back in game if we go to the relationships panel yes I made the dad because I'm just extra like that the dad lives in some mansion somewhere and took all of their money they only have 975 simoleons in the bank how the hell is the mom gonna pay for this house I don't know but yeah if we take a look at the relationships the variable relationships mod has activated and the mom actually doesn't like their preteen daughter she's not a fan and the preteen daughter doesn't like the mum, so I guess they have a really bad relationship. Also, the teenager has a really good relationship with her dad, not a good relationship with her dog. <laughs> I guess she's not a dog person. The toddler does not like his dad. I'm guessing that the dad left everyone before the toddler was born, so he doesn't really know anything about his dad, which I think makes sense. It adds to the gameplay. Oh, and the toddler doesn't really get along with the preteen, so it just adds more flair to the relationships in the house, which in the end adds to the story. So um, yeah, we have a young adult, a teen, 
a preteen and a toddler. If we look at the preteen, um, I need to stop calling her by her like life stage. Her name is Emma. So Emma and Ashley. Ashley is the teen. If I get her to stand here, if I get Emma to stand here, they are two different heights, which is cool. Oh, and they're getting along so well. Why does the teen look like a young adult? Anyway, that's The Sims for you. Since the mom is single, how about we take a trip to the park and try to meet some people, see what this first impressions mod does. Okay, Sophie, mother, why don't you come and say, introduce yourself to this guy, who is this, Justin? Okay, she said hi. Oh, he's got an impression of us. Don't know what that means. Okay, Sophie sent sentiment about Justin. She thinks that he is stuck up. This sim seems so rigid, stern, and stuck up. Okay, that's interesting because that describes her. And Justin's sentiment about Sophie is admirable. On first meeting them, this sim appears to Justin as a much admirable individual. Wow. So Sophie doesn't really like him and he thinks Sophie's pretty cool. Oh, I didn't even realize this. You can add the preteen trait to some like random person. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that to this kid over here because there aren't any preteens in the world right now because of the mod so if i just press on this little girl oh it's a guy oops sorry oh you have to be a teen to activate it okay i'm understanding well i'm just gonna cheat you to be a teen really quick oh he aged up to a teen so he's not like a teen he's a preteen because we're the same height so if you like cheat a sim from a child to age up they're not gonna age up to a teen they're gonna age up to a preteen first. Okay. I thought I'd have to cheat that, but I don't. That's pretty cool. So this guy is our age. Let's say hey. Our first friend. Ask him to hang out. Oh, the mom's bored. Um, she's bored because of the uninspiringly decorated surroundings from being a snob. Wow. Okay, the only person at this park who is single is Nox. So we're gonna go and say hey to Nox. Let's give him a funny introduction. Okay, Sophie's first impression of Nox is that he's responsible. This sim appears to be a very responsible person, capable of taking care of stuff and willing to care for others. Oh, that's sweet. And Nox's sentiment about Sophie is pretentious. This sim seems to be a rather pretentious person. Why does everyone have such a negative first impression of Sophie? Let's ask him about his career. Oh, he's a green fiend, which makes sense. He's unemployed. We can teach him about stuff because we have, oh, we have level 10 fishing. Okay. Oh, we have level 10 research and debate and logic. Oh, and Emma is very attracted to Lucas. Interesting, but I think with this mod, the preteens don't get a romantic option. So they don't get to like pursue romance, but that's cute. We know that she finds him attractive. So right now as a preteen, she has a crush on Lucas Munch. So maybe when she ages up into a teen, if they become close enough, maybe she can like pursue something there. Okay, there's a lot of people here and there's a lot of stuff going on. Like it's getting overwhelming. Let's go home and bring Lucas and Knox with us. Oh, Ashley. Oh my gosh, Ashley. No, no, you are not allowed to be attracted to a preteen. <laughs> You're not allowed. Both Ashley and Emma are flirty because they both have attractiveness to Lucas. This is not good. This is not good. Yeah, I think it is time for us to go home. Well, that was an experience. Oh, Lucas came with us for some reason. Okay, well, we're home now. You two are flirty. I think, Lucas, I'm gonna have to ask you to go home. I can't have these two girls flirting over you, okay? But Nox, please come in. Sophie's gonna go and use the bathroom. Where did Nox go? Oh no, he's there. Let's fish for some compliments because that's just who you are. Honestly, I don't think Nox is the type of person like she needs because he likes to like sleep in dumpsters and stuff. That is not her thing. <laughs> but maybe he can move in for some time and she can take some of his money because we're very low on money and Sophie doesn't have a job. That's a bit concerning. I don't think she's ever worked a day in her life. She probably went to uni and ended up marrying a rich guy. That's why she has such high levels in the research and debate and like logic and stuff because she went to uni, but hasn't even used her degree. Whoa, she's like making noises while they hug. Oh, romance. Okay, so the first kiss has been done. Oh, we've already acquired the romance skill. Working on the romance skill gives Sims a chance to become better partners and improve their relationships. 
gain romance skill by using romantic interactions in researching on the computer. Oh, she's putting little Travis to bed. Great parenting. Nox, what are you doing in my child's bedroom? Get out of that bed. What a little weirdo. Oh, Bella is really dirty. I definitely don't think Ashley would be the one to, to bathe her because she's not a fan. I think I'm gonna have to get Emma to bathe Bella because they have a pretty good relationship. Oh, these two are arguing. They really don't get along. Oh my gosh, I just realized Emma is a dog lover. That's why her and Bella have such a good relationship. Ooh, dry skin. Oops, looks like I forgot to put on lotion. Well, it doesn't matter unless someone notices. Girl, if you don't put on that lotion, there are some interactions that we get with the preteen mod, like apply lotion, apply deodorant to smell good. Let's apply some deodorant. Even though it's 9 p.m., you're not going anywhere. Nice and fresh, no one can say I smell now. Okay, hygiene is key. Where is my guy Knox? Okay, he's actually sleeping in the right bedroom. Let's wake him up because we have stuff to do. Ooh, we've got some more interactions do something together admit having a little experience oh no she has a lot of experience she has like what three kids yeah she knows what she's doing we've got two new interactions while they're just making out ashley's like get it mom okay go do something together offer to go for drinks it's 10 p.m. That makes the most sense out of all of these. Let's go get some drinks. I think these are rabbit holes, which is fine with me as long as they get some romance while they're there. Okay, I think they're gonna go for drinks. That's cute. So while they go for drinks, Ashley's in charge of looking after the other two in the house. They're off. They're gonna like fizz away. Oh, that's so cool. I really like that. Oh, Ashley's gone to sleep. She doesn't even care. She's envious. It's hard to see other couples together when you don't have anyone special in your life. Ashley! Oh, that's so sad. She is a romantic. She does need some love. Maybe we can get you someone too. Emma has gone to bed. I feel bad for Emma because like, obviously she's like her mom's least favorite child. Ashley gets spoiled like crazy. Like the mom and Ashley are like besties. I do feel it for Emma. Or oh, speaking of the mom, she's back and she's feeling flirty oh she's tipsy from going for drinks these drinks made sophie a little dizzy okay oh, i love that oh sweet date from date with partner sophie enjoyed the date and all that time in close proximity to her partner got her feeling rather romantic damn she is like kind of feeling him well let's go let's go and woohoo because why not we're a little tipsy a little drunk you know both laughing at dead jokes that we're making let's go and finish the night with a bang and there we go all the kids are asleep and Knox using that birth control and now they're both asleep okay Emma's awake um you have school which if you don't know as a preteen she gets her own homework which is like pink oh she's gonna do it outside oh she's gonna do it next to Bella because she's a dog person oh I love it but yeah she's the first one up doing her homework um can she cook oh she can cook as a preteen nice why don't you serve some eggs on toast for everyone do you have the cooking skill you level six piano what we have a keyboard in here so you're a little bit of a musical genius as well oh your sister has like level 10 guitar so she's like a guitar person oh she has level 10 violin as well why does she have level 15 in the vampire law skill oh my gosh imagine if she like does a twilight and like dates a vampire i'm down for it she knows about them obviously so maybe she's just looking for the edward to her bella <coughs> or the elena to her Damon. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Okay, she's gonna go and make breakfast. After you finish breakfast, why don't you take Bella out for a walk? Because you're like the only one that will actually do that. Ooh, you can order book couples relationship counseling for 150 simoleons. Maybe that's something that Sophie might need. <laughs> Sophie's bored. Sophie's always bored. Like, if I feel like nothing can entertain her. Ooh, do you think she'd be the type to ask Knox to pursue, like, his dream job? Like, get him to get a good paying job. Wait, does he have a job? If he doesn't, that's a problem for her. He's unemployed. Oh, yeah, you need to get a job, my friend. Before we do anything with you, you need to go and get that bag so we can use it. Although I appreciate your interest, Sophie, it's been one of those days. I'd prefer to talk about something else if you don't mind. Of course, Knox dodges the question about getting a job. Oh, she's not liking it. She's a bit tense. Only trying to help from offering someone career advice. If you think career advice is always welcome, better think again. So Knox kind of put her in her place and she didn't like that. Oh my gosh, why are you throwing up? If you're pregnant right now, if you're pregnant right now, 
Oh my gosh, what the freak, Sophie? Why? Now Nox is gonna be in our life forever. Okay. You have 623 simoleons to your name. And Nox left, okay. Well, Nox doesn't know about the baby yet. This wasn't supposed to happen. This, this, we weren't supposed to be introducing another child. I'm sure she's happy about it because she's family orientated. She loves kids, except from Emma. Still. And it's with Nox of all people. You just found out that he's unemployed and he doesn't have any interest in getting a job. <laughs> How is he going to support you and the child? How? Okay, um, Sophie is a snob. Snob sims love to critique the work of others. You know what, Nox? Let's go over to your house. Let's see where you live. Okay, he lives in Evergreen Harbor. Um, which house is yours? Um, is it this one? Ooh. Ooh. Um... I don't think that's gonna be to Sophie's liking, but you know what? Let's go and take a look, have a look inside. But knowing Sophie, she's gonna critique everything. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be his parents. We've gotta tell them that we're pregnant with his child. Okay, she's already tense just being here. Okay, Nox, talk about eco lifestyle. That's literally your whole personality. Um, let's share the big news. Do we still have that first impression sentiment? Oh, we do. And we still think that he's responsible. Really? The guy that doesn't have a job and refuses to get one is responsible? Okay, Sophie. She's like, hey, I'm pregnant. Remember that one time that we woohooed? Yeah, I've got a baby in me now. Don't tell me he's talking about eco lifestyle again. This guy. Whoa, this is an interesting house. I like how they have this outside. This is really cool. Definitely not up to Sophie's standards, but you know what? We're gonna knock on the door we're gonna be nice who is this lady why are you interfering with our conversation damn what is this like prison door oh okay hello hi you are oh blossom is such a pretty name and mary and we're gonna do a friendly introduction oh she is so bored she hates the decor in here what did i tell you guys oh first impression oh first impression of the parents-in-law possibly if we marry Knox, which hopefully we don't because he's got no money. Okay, Sophie thinks that Blossom is responsible. What does Blossom think about us? She thinks that we're an interesting sim. Okay, so it's a positive one. There's just something about Sophie that seems to vibe in a way that appeals to Blossom. So Blossom really likes Sophie. That's good. One of the parents-in-law actually likes us. Let's introduce ourselves to Mary as well. Oh, we should have done a respectful introduction, shouldn't we? Please don't hate us. Oh, oh, Sophie. Oh, she thinks that we're pretentious and she wouldn't be wrong. She's spitting straight facts. Sophie, Sophie, <laughs> Sophie. This isn't good. One of the parents-in-law does not like you and she is uncaring. Oh, the mod pack is in play. I don't know what she's uncaring about, but she doesn't seem to care about us. Okay, why are we like not facing each other? This is kind of weird. Maybe we should come and chat over here. She is so bored here. Like she really doesn't like this area. She doesn't like this decor. She's just not feeling it. And this is about your children. I'm pretty sure that is from the Road to Romance mod. Oh yeah, we should probably share the big news of them. See, she's not happy. She's faking it. Okay, this conversation isn't going anywhere. You know what? Let's ask about your career. Do you guys work? Do you guys bring in some money? Because I, like, she needs support, you know? Um, oh, Mary's unemployed and Blossom's unemployed. The whole family is unemployed. This is <laughs> major red flag, Sophie. Okay, well, these two are home. Um, why don't, why don't you guys go and do whatever? The kids are also home from school. You, oh my gosh, go and like pee and take a shower. What are you doing? Let's get you a romantic interest. We want you, you have like really high like vampire law skill. Let's get you a vampire boyfriend. Okay, I looked it up online and in terms of the Road to Romance mod, it doesn't, all it, yeah, it doesn't really work for teens. The creator said that a teen romance module will be made if there is interest, which I am very, interested in that that sounds great so currently this mod is for adults so Ashley I'm not gonna focus on you and your romance right now if it has nothing to do with the mod let's come back to Sophie since like I, in my mind she has experience with romance she's had three kids already onto her fourth she definitely is not level one romance so I'm gonna actually cheat it up a little bit this goes up to level 10 but let's say she's like level 
five, level six? I would say she's pretty like, you know, she knows what she's doing. Okay, so we should have some more interactions. Sorry to like intrude on the immersion of this experience, but I'm thoroughly enjoying these mods. I, I'm really enjoying myself right now, if you couldn't tell. So let's have a look at some new things we've got. We can compliment personality. We're not doing that. He has no personality. Literally all this guy talks about is freaking eco lifestyle. Express interest, enthuse about relationship, reminisce about early days, reaffirm devotion. Ooh, make future plans. We should defo do that. Talk about life together. Share deeply personal thoughts. We do have to talk about like life together. We're having a baby. Oh my gosh, I just saw. We can complain about partner's family. Oh my gosh, yes. One of your mums doesn't like us. Ne none of your parents have jobs. What's up with that? Oh, he did not like that. Oh, the first impression is basically gone. Our one's still there, but for Nox is basically gone. We've proved ourselves to him somehow. But he has a festering grudge. Nox has a deep seated grudge against Sophie it's hard to forget or forgive the past which make being around Sophie feel very unpleasant for Knox. Talking bad about someone's parents is like such a low blow that is so rude and disrespectful. It's so obvious Sophie has no respect for Knox. It's like, it's so obvious. We're gonna reminisce about the early days of the relationship. You know, those times when Sophie wasn't pregnant. Good old times. Oh, we can ask Knox to pursue their dream job again. Okay, Knox, please please for the sake of sophie and this baby she's carrying oh my gosh this guy this guy just doesn't want to get a job this guy just doesn't want to get a job okay this relationship was not a good idea we're gonna go and give birth right now um where i'm gonna have to buy a bassinet here we go just gonna put it in her room somewhere giving birth having the baby one, two, three, Lauren Cornette. Oh, she's really happy, family time, family oriented Sims, love being friends, love being friends with family members, okay. But the funds are very low, like, like terribly low. I don't have like child support enabled or anything like that. So the best way for us to make money is to get Knox to move in. Welcome. Um, okay, they have 15,000 to their name. That's not too bad. We're gonna take 10K. I think that's reasonable. So now we have 10,000 simoleons. Welcome to the house, Knox. Oh, he doesn't like Bella. He's not a dog person, okay? He's not a fan with Emma. No one freaking likes Emma. I feel bad for my girl. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave this interesting scenario here. This was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun trying out these mods. And I hope you guys got to see some of these mods in action. We didn't get to see much of the mood pack mod. We did see a little bit, but not that much. But again, to get some of the other mods, you have to have that mod installed. Just be aware of that. If you are planning to get either the first impressions, preteen or road to romance, you have to have the mood pack mod installed. But yeah, if you guys want me to do some more of this with like other mods, let me know in the comments and suggest some mods you would like me to try out. I think this was a fun way of using and mods because you're actually playing with the mod. I'm actually using it the way that you guys would use it in your games, actually playing with a family and stuff like that. So yeah, this is, in my opinion, this is a really good way of seeing how the mods integrate into the game. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you're new and I will see you in the next video.